hands. I won't promise you business. That's true. But it's not coming out. Yes. So this person will, will come out soon. Uh, well, can you tell us about the business issue? The person who say. Yes, uh, this person is always visiting outside like Maputo and Kenya and they promised me to to put million on my business. So we always meet in having a business meeting but he doesn't come up. So since I and he be, asked be careful that you must not be robbed. You understand? Yes. Uh, uh, dealing with wrong people is the plan of the enemy now. That's what devil want to do with you. Yes. Uh, they can take everything like this. Uh, can you deal with people from here? Huh? Yes. Yes. It's people from outside. Kenya is far. Kenya is, Kenya is far. You deal with people here. Kenya is far. You understand? Yes. Uh, uh, you have not reached Venda. How can you jump to Kenya? He stay here in South Africa. Just see, he support people outside. Don't even trust that. Don't even trust that. It's a plan of the enemy. Let's trust God for your business. Or carry on. Andres, can you come here? Thank you. My name is Travis. I come from Fowis. I received the prophets today about the men who want to help on my business, which I confirm is true, and it's two of them, but I'm not sure which one of it, but I believe all of them, they are the ones that cross to crook on my business. So I thank God for these prophets today that I received, because also I was confused. Yes. So through this, this prophet that I received today, I believe from now I will be careful to allow anyone to come in my business. I must make sure required to God before I accept anyone. This issue of your business, let's speak about it. How did it affect you? Yeah, it's affected me a lot because there's many of people who come in and then they promise party. They are promised they're not making up and now they ask a lot of documents. So I'm not sure if these people are going to use this document for something else. So since I received this prophecy, I think that today God has opened my eyes yes how are you feeling right now I'm feeling very grateful because now I don't know have any stress and I'm no longer confused I'll leave everything to the Lord now thank you thank you so much can you just stand up here come this side who is Martha there's a problem of your feet And this is like a curse now, because whatever you are trying to do, you fail, isn't it? Yes, Dad. Eh? Yes, Dad. You are trying, it's like people are monitoring you. Yes. Eh? Yes. Sometimes you want to do something, you realize that you, you are becoming lazy also. Yes. In whatever you are doing. Is it true what I'm saying? It's true, Dad. Eh? It's true. So let me touch your feet today. Those are open for you now. Amen. You'll give us a testimony. Uh, my name is Shoni San Mashavela. I'm from Charis. Mm -hmm. um, the prophecy that I've received today, it was the curse that was placed on my leg. Because at some times I would feel pains in my legs. Mm -hmm. And whatever I try to do, at the end of the day it will fail. Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling today as the man of God has spoken unto you? I feel that uh, the hand of God is upon my life. Mm -hmm. Because this monitoring spirit has been monitoring me for a very long time. I think it's enough now. Hallelujah. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that today you are totally free and you are coming back with a testimony in Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Where is the lady uh, The lady you are doing business with? I don't know where she is now. Huh? I don't know where she is now since last week. Because day. I'm seeing you, uh, it's like someone dupe you. Yes. Eh? Yes. Someone tried to promise something and take money from you. Yes. Uh, I'm Emmanuel Mabaso from uh, Guyane. I live at Temisa. And then today I receive a prophet that is true. Uh, there is somebody who I was doing business with her and then that lady she robbed me a money and then my business collapsed yeah that and how did it affect you 
Yeah, it's affecting me. It's affecting me a lot just because I have a problem, a very, very, very big problem. It's, I'm stressing each and every day because of all this. Yeah. And today, no. by the grace of God, the man of God spoke to you. How are you no. feeling? Yeah, now I'm feeling good just because I see God is is with me and He will fight for me. I believe God will do something about this. Uh, that I believe. So. There's a discouragement around you. Yeah, it's true. You have been praying a lot, but there's nothing that is moving. Yeah, it's true, man. Eh? I, I pray a you lot. You are even questioning your calling. Can you just come here? Yeah, my name is Lawrence Mtombeni from Guyani. But now I'm staying at Vusumusi, Tembisa. Yeah, the prophecy. Okay, oh, uh, the prophecy is true. Yeah, I'm praying a lot, but it's, 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 it's nothing can nothing going. Yeah, and I don't know why, it's, because I'm praying a lot. How how did it affect you when you know that you are praying and you are doing almost everything that the word of God says that we must do, but nothing is moving? How did it affect you? Yeah, because they, my family, they discourage me. When I, sp I speak something, they discourage me. So I don't know why. Hey, that's why they're affecting my calling also. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? Uh, now I'm, I'm feeling happy because I receive a prophecy. Now I'm feeling a happy. A no one can stop me now. There's a dream you have dreamed, eh? I'm seeing this dream that normally comes to you, and you find yourself eating. Yeah, I think. Eh? Yeah. And from there, your stomach becomes bloated like this. Mm. Eh? Mm. After that, you start to have a problem when of sleeping. Yeah, yeah. I can never eh? rock. I can never rock. Eh? I can never rock. It's like an attack on you. Come, come on, you demon! You stand up here. You leave, leave it. Okay, Lina Gipegi Malachi, Kitua Avery Park. Prophecy Apostle of Leching on Nail and Nate, Karna Gwenchi, Hochala, Kiloraki, Jaja, and Indira Rikifel, Hochala, Snabro, and Gwench, and then twenty eight lines, twenty a Gipuchar, Udiraja, or Kalora, Wijak, and Ogumka of Felagoro, and Hochalor Prayer, we are fast. And you affect Tilijan? In Swinjaka, Holija Lore, Kigua, Dimpachaka, Cardia, Diakumo. And today, Kamuhawa Mudimu, Apostle, was able to speak with you. Come on. Your prayer life went down. I can't hear you. I can't hear. Huh? It's true. It's like it's like you're no longer a Christian. Let's talk the really just tell me. Yes. Maybe you can, you can encourage yourself again. Because after these people, I don't know what they are doing. It's like you find yourself standing alone. And then the people left you of the family. Exactly. Huh? Exactly. I'm left with my wife. You just left with your wife. And yeah. now these people are trying to attack you. Everything is down now. It's true. Financially down. Prayer down. Everything. Everything. Huh? Everything. So. Yes, it's true. I'm coming from ZB. I'm staying in Mashimon section. Amen. Tembis. Why are you saying it's true? Refer it back to your life, to what the man of God was saying and said according to the way your life was moving. Yes, according to the Christian life, uh, it's already changed completely. 
because yes, when he spoke about the family to turn against ourselves, it's true because uh, I don't see anyone next to me right now. But I think the problem is caused by the marriage of my daughter when we handled the marriage here at the church, not at home. That is what it caused the problem to our families because they turn against us even now. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, as God revealed it, I think it will be, there will be a breakthrough for this. And how are you feeling today as the man of God was able to locate you as the head of the house, the man who's in charge of everything, God has located you to restore your family. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very much great because uh, uh, God revealed it today. It shows that there is a way where we, can, we are going now. Yes. I want to pray for you. Amen. And what I want to tell you is that I saw there's a spirit of witchcraft. Amen. That is following you. Amen. Are you hearing me? I hear you, prophet. It's like there was someone that you were with that's, that's that was practicing some funny things. Amen. Are you hearing me? I hear you, prophet. So now, today I want to pray for you because now, even when you're trying to move on with your life, it's very difficult. It's like everything, the devil is trying to block your life here. Are you hearing me? I hear you. This is the spirit that you are attacked. So, but I believe today I'll pray for you and God will release you from this spirit. Amen. There was someone that you involved with. Yeah, that's very true. Are you hearing me? Yeah. That was practicing bad things. Hmm? Yeah, no, let's, not, let's not reveal people's okay. names. Okay. But I'm seeing a lady yeah. that was doing some funny things. That's true. And to be honest with you, it's God who took you out. Amen. Because for me, you're supposed to be dead. A long time ago. You're supposed to, because of this lady. Long time ago. Because to, I, was, I was involved in many car accidents. Many car accidents. Yes. And here, there are things in the house. Under the beds, there are plastics. Everywhere, in the ceiling, all over. Huh? Yeah. So but I want to now you. I've moved out. Move out. Yes. Move out and God will give you a red wife. Amen. Come out. You demon. Leave this man, the spirit of witchcraft. Leave that stomach. Come out, you demon! Come out! the name of Jesus. Uh, my name is Elvis Shai. I'm from Pretoria. That's where I'm staying currently. And what the prophet has just spoke to me right now, it's just a confirmation of what, what's happening in my life. Yes. How are you feeling today as they've given you a word concerning what was really happening in your life? I believe after, because God revealed to, to deliver. So I, I believe that whatever, the stamping block that has been happening in my life, and then because I've been trying to do business and then things were not, were not, were not happening. So I believe the word of prophecy that I received today, it has brought, brought through in my life, in my finances, in my spiritual life, in everything that has to do with my life, yes. I believe, I believe that I've been delivered, yes. There's a, there was a business huh? yes. that you people you were doing in the family. Yes. Huh? yes. And it's like devil now is killing everything. The devil is destroying everything because I'm seeing people working on the side of the roads. Yes, huh? yes, yes, it's that's it's true. They are putting pavements. pavements. Yes, huh? yes. So I want to pray for you because even your marriage now is dying. Yes, I'm that's seeing true. attacks. 
Yes. Huh? I'm yes, seeing that's attacks true. and I saw this business of pavements. Yes. And devil is destroying everything. Everything. Come here. This demon must leave you. Come out! What are you doing here? Hmm? What are you doing here? Huh? You are doing what? Huh? What are you doing in this family? Hmm? Why are you destroying everything? I want them to suffer. Huh? I want them to suffer. You want them to suffer? Yes. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? An ancestral spirit. Huh? Ancestral spirit. Ancestral spirit. Yes. So you're destroying business, everything. Everything. Uh, even a marriage There must be now. zero. Hmm? There must be nothing. This there must be zero. Zero. Even a marriage now. Yes, it must end. There must divorce. There must divorce. So are you the one who's making the husband not to come to church? Yes. Huh? No, no, yes. So today you must leave this family. Are you hearing me? Never. If not, never. listen, if not, I'll give you a few days. Huh? Never. You have never seen me before. Uh, Even hmm? you, you have never seen me before. I've never seen you before. Yes. My name is Mukobe Papu. I'm from Alandale. Um, I would like to confirm the prophecy that the prophecy that I was given is very true, 100% true. Yes, uh, because um, we had a family business uh, that was doing construction. So that's, uh, that business now is dead, it's no longer running. And I will also like to confirm the prophecy regarding my marriage. Uh, indeed, my marriage is falling apart. Yes. And how is all these things affecting you? Uh, this thing is really affecting me because now there's no peace in my marriage. There's no peace and the family business as well because it was the one that is that was making us to, to, to survive. So now it's really affecting us because now everything has stuck, nothing is moving. Yeah. But how are you feeling today as I believe that God uh, has located you to redeem your family? How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling... I'm feeling so blessed. Um, as God has seen this, I believe that there will be changes. I believe that my marriage will be restored. I believe that the family business will be restored. I also believe that um, it's going to be a new thing. Yes. We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that you shall surely come back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Thank you. There's a brother here. You, I'm seeing your car using a street in Johannesburg, I think, what is it, Resiki Street, passing like this. Yeah, always And I'm good. seeing, on, this, on the right hand side here, I'm seeing something like, uh, uh, what is this, Park Station. Hmm? There in Johannesburg. I'm seeing a silver car. Yes. Come here. Ancient of days. As old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you you will never change. I saw a business. Yes, I've got a business. Huh? I've got a business. I saw a business, but I saw you crying. Eesh. I'm seeing this business giving you many problems. 
That's true. Huh? That's true. But I saw a car in Johannesburg. I saw a silver car. Yes. Passing like this. And I heard that I must tell you that from today, when you leave this place, everything around your life will change. Amen. 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 Are you hearing me? Yes. Because I saw you struggling. I saw what is happening in your marriage. I saw everything. But I want to tell you that all your problems today are over. Thank you, and Jesus. Today, you'll make it in business. Thank you, Jesus. Because yeah, the devil is trying to make you sick. Oh. No? The devil is trying to make you sick. And you are healed. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, you demon! Come on! Leave him, leave him. You're free, my brother. You're free. My name is Elijah Nkosi. I'm from Bishakas. Uh, the prophecy is true. I'm having a business. But uh, for the last two months, things are not going well. I've got the staff around 40. Those people are just rebelling. Some of them, they are no longer even coming to work. Things are not going the way I've planned like, yeah, I'm so discouraged. Sometimes I don't even sleep. I just keep on praying to say, you know what, only God knows. And today I'm so happy because my prayers are like answered. How are you feeling right now as the prophet has spoken unto you? I'm, I'm feeling better. I'm happy. Even the car that I'm driving is true. It's a silver car. Yeah, everything is, yeah, I'm happy and I'm looking forward because there's a breakthrough where I can see everything as well. I saw a couple there that is searching for a child. There. There. You, come. I saw a couple there. There at the back there. They are searching for a baby. Let's hold it. Let's hold it. I want God to help you. Amen. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. Because you, my brother, you told yourself that you want to follow God. Amen. Huh? Amen. So now, what the devil is trying to do now is trying to close the womb of your wife. Amen. So I'll pray for you. Amen. And very soon you'll celebrate. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You are living. You are living. You demon. My name is Naniki Magula. I come from Rodeport, and the gentleman next to me is actually my husband. His name is Stephen Magula. Yes. Confirm the prophecy that you received today, whether to be true or not. Okay, we received a prophecy that we will receive a child and then actually my husband has been, my womb actually has been blocked and uh, I've been, we've been married for eight years and we have not, uh, we don't have a child together. And how did this affect you? I mean, it also affected our marriage, one, because of, obviously when you're trying to conceive a child and it's not happening, we started asking ourselves what's wrong, yes, yes. And today, by the grace of God, uh, God has located you. How are you feeling about that? I believe that redemption has come to your house, your marriage. How are you feeling? 
I actually feel very happy and actually very blessed that actually we were located today because the main thing is our marriage was deeply affected by this. So I thank God actually that he actually has restored our marriage. Amen. We believe that today, as the prophet of God has spoken unto your life, you shall surely come back with your baby, and you shall surely come back and tell us that God, He keeps on doing greater things unto your lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. Amen. There's a lady there. I don't know. Are you speaking Shangan? I'm hearing Kunika. Huh? Kunika. I saw. I'm seeing something like Amukelani. You know Amukalani? Yes. I'm seeing number two. I'm seeing Eunice. Huh? You don't know Eunice? No. Oh, Eunice, yes, I know. Huh? Yes, I know. You know Eunice? She's my brother's wife. Huh? She's my brother's wife. Oh, I'm Kelani Kwinika, yes. <laughs> Ancient of day. Yes, pray for you. Amen. It's because I want God to release the whole family. Amen. Because in your family, I'm just seeing someone, I don't know, I'm seeing someone who's calling himself a prophet. Yes, it's huh? my brother. It's your brother. Yes. And I'm hearing that, let's pray to break this case of marriage. Amen. In the family. Amen. Because you people here to marry, it's a problem. Yes, it's difficult. Always, you get people that will just use you and spit you out. Amen. Huh? It's true. David. I want to pray for you. And even this brother, go and tell him because things are so difficult for him. Huh? So I want to pray for you. Amen. Go and tell everyone in your family. Amen. That there's a breakthrough that is coming because I'm just seeing you people you're struggling a lot. Thank you. Marriage, no marriage. Yes. But I'm I'm seeing you in ivory. Yes, I'm th huh? I'm staying in ivory. You're staying in ivory. Yes. So I want to tell you you are here for the whole family. Thank you, Lord. Ancient of days, as old as old as you are, Lord, you, you will never change. Come out, you demon! Ancient of days, as old. As old as you are. Oh, my name is Surprise Nkwenega. I'm staying, I'm staying at Ivory. Yes. I received a prophecy today about my brother and, and his wife. Yes, it's truth. It's truth. He's a pastor, but at home there's no one who wants to support him. Yes, and they are trying their best. Even me, I'm trying to support him because he's my brother. But the other ones, they don't want. But as from today, I get a prophecy. At least they, they will see that there's God there. 
Yes. And how are you feeling right now as they have spoken unto your life? Oh, I, I'm, I feel relieved because even me, I can see that my brother indeed yes, is a, is a, is a pastor. I must support him. And how are you feeling in your body right now as they have prayed for you? Oh, no, I, I don't know how to explain because I feel relieved. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that as they prayed for you, you shall surely come back with a testimony that will shock all your enemies in Jesus' name. Amen.